The coach is on the road once again, take you behind the scenes with the MLB stars of the game. And I got the man here, DB. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for having me. Introduce yourself. Tell them where you're from. Tell them something about yourself. Yeah. Uh, David Bodie from uh, Longmont, Colorado. Colorado? Yeah. How Colorado boy wind up in the big leagues? <laughs> Good question. I don't know. But I've been fortunate to be with the Cubs here for uh, 13 years now. 13? I thought you was only 12. 12? Is that what it is? 13 seasons, 12 years? I don't know. Okay. Well, we're, we're making it. That's right. Well, you know, I used to coach college baseball. Scouted for five major league teams. Every kid dream playing in the big leagues. Yeah. David in the big leagues. What that feel like? Hey, it's, uh, it's a wild journey for sure. You, uh, you know, you come into it hoping to be into the big leagues and then at some point it changes from a hope to uh, an expectation and then like then you get here and then it's like keep on pushing um, it's just like little stepping stones along the way so it's just one of those things where you just show up to work every day and you put in your work and you put in your effort and uh, you just like you can ask for is opportunity and then when you have that opportunity and take advantage of it. Do you sometimes feel along the way that you just want to give up? Oh, uh, multiple times, <laughs> multiple times, and, and, you know, probably more times than it's probably even said, but like there's a couple times, twice, where it's like I was like a phone call away, like I was like, I'm done, I'm over it, um, and then, you know, family kind of supports you, and my wife, and, and my dad one time, and my wife another time, we're just like, no, let's, let's, let's keep it going, let's see, let's see where this goes out, and so then we just kind of keep rolling, and, and, you know, you, you sleep on it, you wake up the next day, and, and you go to work. Well, you know, I know being a coach and 40 plus years in the game, it ain't that easy to turn it loose now. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it's just, you, know, you, you have a time, and it's just like a short time to play this game, so you just kind of enjoy, try to enjoy it the most you can, and, you know, it's going to have, uh, have moments where you want to give it in, but, you know, you know like this, all you have is today. And, you know, a lot of people don't realize you're 13 seasons now in professional baseball. The life of a major league ball player is average two to three years. People don't realize that. So, I mean, what do you attribute to your longevity? I mean, just the grace of God, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just, you know, you don't, you try not to think about when it ends or when it starts. Mm -hmm. You just kind of, you just, like, you just stack up good days. You know, you just try to stack days together and, and then you blink and you're still here. So they just, you know, and they, you know, they fire you once and then you keep claw your way back and you just keep on, keep on keeping on. And you know, when we talk about baseball, professional baseball, Chicago Cubs, yeah. one of the meccas of baseball. Yeah. Cubs, Yankees, Dodgers, yeah. Reality America's team. What is it like? Cubs I mean, uniform. That's just, that's special, right? Like that's, you know, you're the show Cubs. Like you're Chicago show Cubbies that, like just super blessed and honored and humbled just to wear that crest um, that has been around for a century. And it's like, no, I, like, what, no, no, what a blessing! I like you, just, you don't, you don't want to lose uh, the awe of like the amount of people that have worn that jersey. It's just special to just be a part, you know, in that, to be a part of that group. It's, it's a cool, it's a cool thing. And what were you at when the Cubs won the World Series? I was in high eight. I was in high eight. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I was there in Cleveland when they yeah. won. and got back to Chicago. Yeah. That parade yeah. was. I'd never imagined it could be. I thought it would be crazy with the girl. Yeah. What was your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I went to game five in Chicago with my brother, and that was awesome. Um, I remember watching it in the basement and just being super excited, like just to be part of the organization that when they won it, and then I was like, all right, I want to get up there and win one myself, you know? So still, still chasing that one. So first major league hit. Uh, double the right center off of Tyler Anderson in Colorado. First major league home run. Uh, center field July 4th against Francisco Liriano. All right, again, every kid dream playing at Big Leagues. You get that call, you go into the Big Leagues. Hawkins locked him for the very first time. See your uniform hanging up over that Philly line. I mean, it's one of those things where you kind of just go, I got to play a game. You know, you try not to get too caught up in the moment. You just kind of go, with and go, all right, I got to go play third base. Um, and put up good at-bats and play good defense. And so then, that's what it was. Did you cry? No. Come on, you cry. No. A little bit? No. No, 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 no. Did mama cry? Probably. Oh, you know mama cry. <laughs> My baby in the big leagues. Coach on the road with the man, DB. Appreciate, you, appreciate it. it. Thanks a lot. That's the main thing first. They have to have the opportunity. They have to have different outlets to be able to develop um, that player. You have a, a average player, you know, 
they're raw talent. And so they need at least two or three, maybe even four years of development to get to that next level, you know, to get even part of their talent, you know, with, with the other players. So um, we need leagues like this to be able to showcase the league, have uh, players another opportunity, uh, you know, to showcase and develop that talent. Um, but it, it takes time. Sounds like an exciting time. Again, it's uh, it's needed. Definitely need uh, some more developmental leagues to give uh, ball players an opportunity uh, just to progress and see where they're at. There's, a, there's those diamonds in the rough. There's those players that are hidden gems. Uh, they haven't been discovered yet. That uh, sounds like that's what the league is for, just to give them another opportunity, uh, some more exposure, some more experience, you know, advance and see how far they can go. Click on the subscribe button and become a subscriber.